The last topic I want to talk about for this chunk of videos for sine and cosine is the unit circle. So you have the basics of sine down, you have the basics of cosine down. The unit circle is something that you have got to know backwards and forwards. You need to make this your absolute best friend because it will not go away. So let's take a look at this. Come on. Of course it would help if my picture liked to work with me. And it doesn't look like it likes me at all. Okay. We'll work around it. Let's first go through and label degrees. So we know we have 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, 270. Now we could label the in-betweens. Halfway in between 0 and 90 is 45. So then halfway between 90 and 180 is 135. We get 225 and then 315. Then if we break the 0 to 90 into thirds, we get 30 degrees, 60 degrees, that hits 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and then 360. So 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, 180, 210, 275, or 225, 240, 270, 300, 315, 330. These are all degrees. Warning, this unit circle is going to get pretty messy. Um, you'll probably want to find your own unit circle online to print off. It's pretty difficult to draw your own really nice, clean looking unit circle. I'm pretty sure that there are plenty of circles you can find if you just Google them or go to Wikipedia. That should have a good one for you. Alright, next let's make sure we have the radian measures down for everything. So those were our degrees. Let's look at radians next. We know we have zero. A full rotation is two pi. This means that half a rotation is pi. A quarter of a rotation is pi over two. And three quarters is three pi over two. Halfway between 0 and pi over 2 is going to be pi fourths. So all of these big dotted lines breaks our circle up into pi fourths. We get pi fourths, pi halves, 3 pi fourths, pi, 5 pi fourths, 3 pi halves, and 7 pi fourths. Now we can label the smaller dotted lines. This breaks our pi. Oops, here we go. The small dotted lines breaks our pi up into six sections. So we're breaking it up into pi six. This gives us pi six, pi thirds, pi halves, uh, two pi thirds, and five pi six. Then we get 7 pi 6, 5 pi, no, 4 pi thirds. Yes, okay. Now 5 pi thirds, followed by 11 pi 6. And those are all of your radian measures. So now we've gone through all the possible angle measures. Now we're going to look at the values of sine and cosine. 